Lord said to Moses, I am going to punish the king of Egypt and his people one more time. Then the king will gladly let you leave his land. In fact, he will even chase you out. Now go and tell my people to ask their Egyptian neighbors for gold and silver jewelry. So the Lord made the Egyptians greatly respect the Israelites, and everyone, including the king's officials, considered Moses an important leader. Moses went to the king and said, I have come to let you know what the Lord is going to do. About midnight he will go through the land of Egypt, and wherever he goes, the firstborn son in every family will die. Your own son will die, and so will the son of the lowest slave woman. Even the firstborn males of your cattle will die. Everywhere in Egypt there will be loud crying. Nothing like this has ever happened before, or will ever happen again. But there won't be any need for the Israelites to cry. Things will be so quiet that not even a dog will be heard barking. Then you Egyptians will know that the Lord is good to the Israelites, even while he punishes you. Your leaders will come and bow down, begging me to take my people and leave your country. Then we will leave. Moses was very angry. He turned and left the king. God speaks to Moses and Aaron, instructing them about the beginning of the Hebrew calendar, designating this month as the first month. The institution of the Passover is initiated by God to the Israelites as they prepare to leave Egypt. God commands Moses and Aaron to tell the Israelites to mark their doors with the blood of a sacrificed lamb or goat, signaling their obedience and faithfulness. This blood serves as a sign to spare their households from the coming plague of death upon the firstborn of Egypt. The Israelites are instructed to eat the lamb with unleavened bread and bitter herbs, symbolizing both their haste to leave Egypt and the bitterness of their enslavement. This event signifies the beginning of a new era for the Israelites, as they are about to embark on their journey towards freedom from bondage. At midnight, the Lord killed the firstborn son of every Egyptian family, from the son of the king to the son of every prisoner in jail. He also killed the firstborn male of every animal that belonged to the Egyptians. That night the king, his officials and everyone else in Egypt got up and started crying bitterly. In every Egyptian home, someone was dead. During the night, the king sent for Moses and Aaron and told them, Get your people out of my country and leave us alone. Go and worship the Lord as you have asked. Take your sheep, goats, and cattle and get out, but ask your God to be kind to me. The Israelites, seizing this moment of opportunity, gather their belongings and livestock and depart Egypt without delay, guided by Moses' leadership. Amidst the chaos and urgency, they meticulously observe the instructions given for the Passover meal signifying their obedience and faith in God's deliverance. This departure from Egypt marks the culmination of God's promise to free the Israelites from slavery, setting them on the path towards their long-awaited freedom. Moses conveys God's instructions regarding the observance of the Passover meal, emphasizing its perpetual nature as a commemoration of their deliverance from slavery. The Israelites faithfully adhere to these instructions, observing the Passover with reverence and obedience as they prepare to depart from Egypt. Through the Passover, the Israelites reaffirm their covenant with God and celebrate His faithfulness in delivering them from bondage, laying the foundation for their identity as a chosen people destined for liberation and fulfillment of God's promises.